Hello everybody. I had started to film this and for some reason it didn't film. I'm working on a page in my junk journal. It's uh, one of the signatures that I showed in my previous video. This is a page where I did a, a background using um, text from a book newspaper and uh, this, this right here the, the maps city maps and then I mixed some um, off-white paint and sepia tones and a, some spray mist the penny penny spray mist from tattered angels <clears throat> anyway, I decided to do this page for my 29 pages, 29 faces of February group and using my acrylic inks. And so far, this is how far I've gotten. And I got up to check to see if I was in the frame and realized it was not videoing at all so so far let me explain what I did I just drew the face with a pencil and then I went over it with uh, burnt umber ink to put in the shadows and and then now I am tracing over with sepia um, sepia is I guess it would be about the equivalence of raw umber. And it's a brown that's, <clears throat> it's a cooler brown. And uh, I'm just, I'm working on, and what would be the shadows of the painting. And I didn't go over this painting with any, anything else. But pencil at first. Usually what I do is I use a, a marker to to paint over the face to draw over the pencil. So and then I cover it with a flesh tone, but this time I decided not to, even though I do have flesh tone ink. So I'm trying a little different approach this time. And I well, see how this turns out. It turns out okay. I'm going to go ahead and you will be seeing it. If not, then I'll just scrap it. But I'm doing the shadows of her face first. And then I'm going to add some more color, but I don't know if I'm going to add too much color. I kind of like this uh, kind of fading into the background look. Let's see. I'm outlining her eyes. I can never get both eyes to look the same. Uh, this one's bigger. That's okay, I could just uh, let's see. make it a little bit smaller like that. This painting is going to be a little bit different than my usual crazy colors that I like to do. Notice lately that just about all my artwork is, is going some very bright, vibrant colors. And I do like, I, I love color. But I do switch it up every now and then. Okay, let's see, we're going to. Her eyebrow is about right. 
in here. And I'm gonna go around her face some more. Just gonna smear with my finger. Now, when I when I did this, <clears throat> I finished it off with a layer of matte Mod Podge. Okay, and that helps with the blending and draw. It, it creates a really good uh, surface to draw and paint on. Using a lot of matte Mod Podge later. I would like to try out some medium, um, some matte medium, either uh, a, a, a light gel, probably be a little bit finer than Mod Podge, but for right now, is Mod Podge until I've been trying to. Work up my arsenal of fine quality paints, mostly golden, by using coupons and things. And uh, I got really lucky with this sale of these acrylic inks are fabulous. There's so much pigment in them. And I really am enjoying working with them. This uh, group I'm in, 29 faces, um, I'm kind of behind, mostly because I've been working when I get home. I either take a nap or I don't know, some days I'm just so tired, I don't feel like doing anything but just fun stuff. And um, I like working on my journal. This is one of the things I've been doing a lot of. Kind of I'm new to this and I've been obsessing with it. Okay. Cool. I like it so far. I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna try a little bit of this uh, flesh tone. No, this is raw sienna. This is the flesh tint. Let's see what this is gonna do. Flesh tint. Let me go back over. With this, this is the brush. Uh, it's a filbert, I believe. It's kind of long. It's really soft. It's, uh, it's good for liquid acrylics and watercolors. This flesh tint, I'm not too sure about. I'm going to use very lightly. I was going to maybe like highlight underneath her eye. Usually, we have a highlight that goes in a triangle form right under the eye, like this. And I don't want to cover up completely. So I'm blending, blending, and maybe a little bit right here. I'm just going to do the more highlighted areas of her skin in the middle middle of the forehead. I'm gonna add some water to this. I want it to be very transparent.
and the top, the, the, the lid right above her eye is going to be lighter than the rest, like so. And then underneath her eye, we're gonna have that triangle coming down like this. And I think I put way too much over here. That's all right. Some right here on top of her lip. And around her mouth and her chin. And pick it up some. And then her body, which is right here. When you blend, make sure your finger doesn't have it, the other paint in there. to try this uh, red earth which looks like burnt sienna yeah that's definitely burnt sienna why don't they just call it burnt sienna for goodness sakes all right burnt sienna is a reddish brown and I'm going to let's see do her lips with this. I want to keep this very natural looking. Nice, fat, juicy lips. Before I go on, oh, I need to Wait, 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 wait. Before that dries, yeah, I'll just keep a wet wipe handy. And I took off some of the flesh tone, which that's fine. Let me check and see how it's, uh, it is filming. Yes, indeed, it is filming. Okay, good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Back to the burnt sienna lips. And the lips are the bottom or going to be more like outlined in this dark color right there and now I'm going to clean my brush and just with the moist brush kind of like just blend it in some of this uh, burnt sienna red earth color um, diluting it a lot with water it's going to be on her cheeks just to give it give her some of that uh, rosy glow and blot 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 don't want a lot blot 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 don't want a lot a little bit of her nose and blah 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 again and then right here okay well my brush a little bit drier it actually looks better I 
feel like this side of the face is a lot darker than this side. So I might accentuate that and give her some more shadow. Okay, a little bit more blush like right here at the top. Blot, 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 blot. And her and her chin. Blot, blot, blot. And some right here. Blot, 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 blot. All right, I like it. So I'm gonna go back with the sepia, which is the raw umber, and do more shadows right here on the side of her face. That's where her hair is gonna be. And I haven't quite figured out yet what I'm going to do with her hair. But framing her face in this darker brown will make her face pop up a little bit better. Right there. That doesn't look like she's outlined so much. Right here. And a little more sepia on this side. And the face, I, I just drew it off the top of my head. I'm, I'm so used to drawing faces now. The more you do something, the more, the easier it gets and the more automatic it becomes. I'm gonna pull hair back this way here too, using the sepia. And her shoulders are right here. Hmm. I like how this brush is kind of old and funky and it's, it's the hair is so split. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> it's giving me some really good uh, effects here. You'll probably do this with a, with a fan brush also. But I want this girl kind of like just fading into the background. She's not going to want it sketchy looking with her hair. more water on this side. I'll go further. I don't know if she's going to have some hair coming down her face. And some more hair coming down her face. And maybe some right here. Yeah, some hair right here. I like this. I have to try this again. See, that's what I like about these the little junk journals. Just try something different. Uh, normally, I would have gone over after drawing. I would have used a marker so I could see it well, and then paint it over the whole her whole face in solid flesh tone. But not this time. I wanted something a little bit different. Okay. Okay, her hair, she's going to be, she's going to have some red highlights in it. So now I'm going back to Red Earth, which is the burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is a reddish brown. 
I might have too much water on that one. She should have a little bit of uh, some red hair, maybe coming down her face, and here. All right, her eyes. Her eyes are going to be, let's see, I want a coppery, coppery eyes maybe. I have this, okay, let's see. This is uh, the Glitter Mist from Tattered Angels. It's called Penny. It's real pretty. Let's see if I can get this to spray. Get a little cup here. And just uh, spray it in there. And use a fine tip brush. Do her eyes. Right there. Oh, brown eyes. Brown eyed girl. Oh, I used to have a boyfriend used to sing that song to me all the time. You a brown eyed girl. Every time I hear it on the radio I think of him. Many, many years ago. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. I might use the same. I'll maybe put it a little bit on her hair. Just to put some of this uh, shimmery. I have this on the background, too, by the way. So it would just blend right in when I first got this uh, tattered angel stuff I didn't know what to do with it it was like so watery I tried spraying it through a through a stencil it didn't do anything but pull up just pull up on the paper and and had didn't look anything like the stencil and now I've been playing with it, and once it once it dries, it's just so awesome looking. It really is. All right, so all I need to do now is maybe a little more shadow with the sepia and some highlights, and I think I'm done. Her eyes need to dry though. This Tatters Angels is very, very wet. Very wet. So while that is drying, I'm going to go over with some sepia and some and darken some other areas. Let me go right here. eyelid there's some more 
shadow right here. darker here. Get back up there, you. I'm going to blow dry this a little bit because I want to take out the black and the white. I don't want it to blend. So let me blow dry. And at this point, you can just say bam. enough to go over with uh, some white ink. Let's see what we got here. Ah, the black ink. Now, this one, I'm going to use a very fine, 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 fine one. This is uh, a 1 18th size. right there and this is just to do mostly the eyes and here we go because she's got makeup on you know my girl's got to have some some makeup on and have her eyeliner and her eyelashes and I need something to cover the picture before I smear anything a good trick a lot of artists use to keep things clean because I am incredibly messy sometimes eyelashes are not my favorite thing to do they're hard for me Her eye people. Okay. 
I have bought so many pens to uh, make things easier by drawing, but nothing looks better than doing it with a brush. Just take your time and do it with a brush. Bottom lashes, top lashes. Okay. Now for this one. Two very different eyes. Cannot make two eyes exactly the same. Probably because I myself have two very different looking eyes. <laughs> That's my story anyways. Nostrils. Just emphasizing like the more darker areas. I don't want to go through her whole face with a black liner. All right, what I see is around her nose, it's already dry, so I'm not going to be able to change much, but uh, this really needs to even out a little bit better. And now for the last piece, a tiny touch of white, just a little, little smidgen of white to give my girl some highlights. And use my little, little fine detail brush here. Dip, 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 dip. She's gonna have some. Highlights right there. And a little bit right here. I'm going to have a little bit of highlight right there, the tip of her nose. And some on her lip. Bottom. A 
Mm-hmm. over some black some space, spaces here that I'll, I hit it with the white a little bit too much have a look all right guys and that's all I'm doing with this one and I'm going to sign my name on it just because I like it C for Tessa, uh, 2018. Here we go. What y'all think? Oh, I'm going to move this down so you guys can see it a little bit better. And I'm trying to get some of that glare out. background that I did show through. Cool. Alright. Well, this is going on my 29 pages. Uh, 29 faces group. Thank you for watching.